I've been using a 2013 Kindle Paperwhite for a very long time, up until this last year with the release of the 2021 Kindle Signature Edition. That's when I decided there were enough reasons to upgrade, and in this video I'm going to talk about some of my favorite features on how it's going to make you a better reader, because that's what's most important when it comes to finding your flow. There are a lot of great reasons to use an e-reader if you like to read a lot. You know, one of the best parts about having an e-reader is that you can carry basically unlimited books with you anywhere you go, so it's really great for traveling. And one of the advantages there is that if you're trying to read multiple books at the same time to learn a specific thing, then you've got all those sources with you at any one time. I know when I pack up to go to work, I often have multiple books lined up. And so it's very useful when I've got the Kindle that I don't have to actually carry a full tote bag of books with me anymore. And of course, a lot of people say that you could just use your phone or an iPad as another way to have a full library with you at any time. And this is very true, but with an e-reader in particular, I think it's important to realize that you're eliminating distractions. It's so easy for us to pick up our phone and get distracted by notifications, but with an e-reader that doesn't have any notifications or anything other than just being a pure device for reading, it's the closest thing to having those paper books while also being much more convenient when traveling or going to work and for a lot of other purposes, whether it's reading outside or you want to take it to the beach and you don't want your paper books to get wet, you've got this perfect e-reader that's now waterproof as well that's going to make a big difference for you. And many people find that reading is a very enjoyable experience that can get them into flow. And once again, because of the ability to eliminate those distractions, it's going to help you to stay into the flow state with your reading experience, which is going to enhance learning, but it's also going to just help you get the most out of that experience rather than being constantly distracted from any notifications on your devices. So for me, regardless of how easy it might be to just pull up a book on the Kindle app on my phone, I still constantly come back to using the e-reader very often because it's going to just be a better overall reading experience and that's what I want the most of. Now I really love the fact that the Kindle syncs with Readwise and I think this is one of the more powerful ways that it can make you a better reader. And so if you haven't heard of Readwise before, it's an app that gives you a daily summary of some of your highlights and so you can go back for spaced repetition and it includes things like books but also any podcasts that you listen to on air that you highlight notes from as well as articles that you import from something like pocket or instapaper so with readwise you have this really great and powerful tool that allows you to go back for spaced repetition of the content that you like to learn from and the other great thing with readwise is that it's going to allow you to take all of your Kindle highlights and automatically import them into your favorite personal knowledge database. Whether that's Rome or Evernote or Notion, you can automatically sync all those highlights there so that they are on hand when you're ready to get writing or creating new content. And then another one of the features that I really love that I don't think as many people know about with the Kindle is that you can actually email yourself content and convert it into the Kindle format so that you can highlight it. And I use this particularly when it comes to any course notes that I'm taking or the workbooks from courses that I'm currently enrolled in because you can email it and convert it into an easy to read format that you can have whether it's alongside any of the course videos you're watching or any of the course material you're reading. And then once again, if you've got this linked up with Readwise, you're able to then sync any of those important notes from your courses into your highlight database as well. And if you've never owned a Kindle before, or it's been many years since your last upgrade, I think that you'll find that the bigger 
screen and the faster performance makes a difference. Now, some people say that they don't notice that big of a difference with the screen size compared to the older Kindle Paperwhites, but for me, it stood out right away that it was just the perfect size for a page. And I also think this will be really valuable for anybody that's reading with larger font sizes in order to actually get more words on the page. And also the Kindles now feature adjustable backlights so that you can make it more of a warmer tone when it comes to the evenings and automatically set it to change to more of that reddish orange hue as the sun sets so that you're eliminating some of the blue light exposure from your eyes, which is going to help you to sleep better and also just not be as intrusive if you're reading in bed. And if you go with the Kindle Signature Edition, it's also got an auto adjusting light. So it's going to respond to light in your environment, much like your phone will increase or decrease its brightness based on what's around it. And the Kindle Paperweight Signature Edition also features wireless charging now, which to me is a big deal. I just like to eliminate as many steps and make using my devices as convenient as possible. So I originally actually went with the base level Kindle Paperwhite and I returned it for one, because I wanted that wireless charging and also just for the extra storage space. Although I think if you're just reading books and not downloading manga or listening to audiobooks on your Kindle, you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of books before you have to clear anything to the cloud. But the extra storage space is a nice feature with the Kindle Signature Edition as well. One thing that could be a downside is that I've noticed that the battery drains much quicker than the 2013 Kindle Paperweight that I had. And this is another factor for why I think that the wireless charging is valuable on the newer Kindle, because that way, at least if it's just sitting around on a wireless charger, most of the time you're not going to notice this drop in battery life, but it only takes a day or two for me to see a pretty significant drop in battery life. And while I haven't actually run out of battery with it, it's probably going to last maybe a week versus the two to three weeks that I've seen performance wise with my older Kindle. So that could make a difference or be a factor for why you might want to go with the wireless charging feature just to be conveniently charged up with your Kindle device at any time. Now, because all the Kindle Paperwhites are USB-C charging at this point, you've probably also got a USB-C charger lying around for another device, so it might not be that big of a deal to you to quickly plug it in to charge. Learning is an important part of progress and finding flow. So if you like this video and wanna watch another one to learn how to highlight audiobook clips, check out this video here. And until the next one, find your flow.